Um, before I start, if you guys remember, uh, no prayer meeting, I think last week, we prayed for my tito po, um, who had a stroke, and uh, okay naman na po siya. He, he was discharged um, yesterday, but then another uh, thing happened last night na bumaha po yung yung bahay uh, binaha po yung bahay nila and everything is um, destroyed lahat ng mga gamit nila I think ang level po nung tubig is parang isang taon na rin so lahat ng um, appliances damit, gamit, nasira so right now they're staying somewhere else but uh, let's continue um, please pray with us po na yung first of all yung recovery niya and um, comforts a family and uh, so that they can um, get out of this situation. Uh, lang po. And then, um, tayo po tayo lahat. Please stand up with me. And um, let's open our Bibles in Exodus chapter 17. And we'll be reading from verses 1 to 7. May, may I request everyone to please um, read verses 1 to 7 together with me? 1 to begin. And all the congregation of children of Israel journeyed from the wilderness of sin. After their journeys, according to the commandment of the Lord, and pitched in Rephidim, there was no water for the people to drink. Wherefore the people did chide with Moses and said, Give us water that we may drink. And Moses said unto them, Why chide ye with me? Wherefore do ye tempt the Lord? And the people thirsted there for water. And the people murmured against Moses and said, Wherefore is this that thou hast brought us up out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our cattle with thirst? And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, What shall I do unto this people? They be almost ready to stone me. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go on before the people, and take with thee of the elders of Israel, and thy rod wherewith thou smotest the river. Take in thine hand, and go. Behold, I will stand before thee there upon the rock in Horeb, and thou shalt smite the rock, and there shall come water out of it, that the people may drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. And he called the name of the place Massa and Meribah because, and because they tempted the Lord, saying, Is the Lord among us or not? Let's pray. God, thank you for, for this hour that you have given us. Thank you for the morning, that, um, um, for the teachings, for the blessings, for, the, for, the, for your word that, Lord, um, keep us um, grounded. And uh, may you, Lord, um, give us wisdom at this hour to study your word. Um, bless your people and, Lord, um, utter words to my mouth because I cannot do this alone. And um, bless this hour in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May I be seated. Po. So last time, if you guys remember, and I think you don't, um, I, I shared uh, the same chapter, verse 17. Um, but uh, I shared the, the, the later part, which was from verse 8. To 16 and this was the the battle when they had uh, the battle against um, the Amalekites but um, this time I, I wanted to share the the first part although medyo taliwas yung pagka, pagka sunod but um, nevertheless God's word is God's word and there's a um, there's blessing in every um, character in every punctuation of in, in the Bible. So, um, so yes, we, we read a very tragic um, scene here. Na this was actually, I think, two months or roughly two months after, they, they, after God delivered them out of the land of Egypt. And um, we all know the story, how God delivered them out of Egypt na, um, through, through crossing the Red Sea, how it was very... Um, miraculous in their lives and they experienced it firsthand 
And then after comes the pillar of clouds as they journey from, from Egypt to the promised land. God was continually um, protecting them over this pillar of clouds. And then comes after the water that was made sweet at Mara. And we all know what Mara means from our um, camp. And then after in chapter 16 came the manna from God because they were, they were complaining over and over again. Complaints after complaints, but God was being God. God was continually blessing them. And then after the manna from heaven came this, came chapter 17, which when they were traveling, so let's, let's look at verse by verse. And verse 1, says, And all the congregation of, of the children of Israel journeyed from the wilderness of sin after their journey, according to the commandment of the Lord, and pitched in Repidim, and there was no water for, for the people to drink. So as they journeyed, they, they, they got tired, and so they pitched their tent. And um, Yes, and, and they were thirsty during this travel. And verse 2, Wherefore the people did chide with Moses and said, Give us water that we may drink. And Moses said unto them, Why chide ye with me? Wherefore do ye tempt the Lord? And if you come to think of it, after all those blessings that uh, God has given them from, from, from escaping the land of Egypt until now, they still have the guts to chide against Moses. And we, and we know that when you... Um, when you complain against the man of God, you also complain to God. And on verse 3, And the people thirsted there for water, and the people murmured against Moses and said, Wherefore is this that thou hast brought us out of Egypt? So because of thirst, because there was no water, they were complaining. That thou hast brought us out of Egypt to kill us and our children with our ca and our cattle with thirst. And they forgot everything that God had done. And, and they questioned, is this how you're going to kill us? Now after all those miracles, you're going to kill us with thirst. And in verse 4, Moses communed with, with God. And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, What shall I do unto this people? They be almost ready to stone me. So as they complain, as if the children of Israel were were actually killing Moses na. Doon sa kanilang pagkakomplain na para bang pinapatay na nila si Moses. Ganun na lang ka, um, kalala yung pagkakomplain nila sa, kay Moses because of thirst. And on verses 5 and 6, God didn't say anything to Israel. And let's read verse 5. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go on before the people and take with thee of the elders of Israel and thy rod wherewith thou smotest the river. Take in thine hand and go. So God didn't say anything about Israel. And verse 6, Behold, I will stand before thee there upon the rock in Horeb, and thou shalt smite the rock, and there shall come, out, there shall come water out of it that the people may drink and Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. So God didn't say anything to Israel, but God provided water for Israel to drink by striking the rock in Horeb. In verse 7, Moses named the place um, according to what happened. And he called the name of the place Massa and Meribah. Massa meaning quarrel and Meribah meaning testing because of the chiding of the children of Israel and because they tempted the Lord saying is the Lord among us or not so here we can see how ungrateful and how unpleasant the situation was for Moses and despite all of this um, testings and complaints and trials God was still merciful and God still showed his power and his, and his pity at the same time. So, God had already supplied all our needs. And at times of trials and troubles come our way, it's, our, it's actually our chance to prove ourselves to God. 
to keep trusting Him and see the bigger picture of how of the power of God over all these things. God simply wanted us to keep looking at Him. Kagaya nga yung nereiterate kanina umaga. But in return, God showed His power as well as His pity to Israel and gave them water out of a rock. And if we keep reading, dun sa, if, we keep, if we keep reading um, the, the story of Israel with Moses, this was actually um, the same reason they, they, uh, it caused them to not enter the promised land. It was because of thirst. And um, yes, and we all know how, how, how disobedient, how disobedient Israel is. And um, just imagine from 11 days of travel, it, it took them 40 years. And God's looking at us in every step that we take in our lives. And I hope when we are faced with troubles, we go on our knees and ask God for guidance to submit to His Word so we don't see these trials as hindrance because God can give us fountain where we least expect it. Let all our trials direct us to depend on the grace of God. And our only job is to keep trusting on God and He will do the rest. And um, this just um, parabang a helping um, scripture to what we just learned this morning. And we, we just need to continue uh, doing what the will of God the, the revealed will of God in our lives today and God will do the rest. And I hope this was a, um, a, this was a short, but um, I, I hope um, this was a blessing to us. And shall we pray? Let's pray. God, thank you for, for the time that you've given us.